Hey, and welcome to the Dan and Mitch Show. He's Dan. And he's Mitch. And today, we're on show and tell. Oh. I, I wanted to do the intro if you were going to... Oh, but you don't know what I'm showing. I know. Then I'll throw it over to you. <laughs> Why? What? Because oh, I just, think, go, I just, just, just go. Just, like, just try it. Well, welcome to the show and tell section where Mitchell is going to be showing me something. Welcome to today's show and tell where I'll be showing Danny something that he doesn't know about. Hello. A lot of our um, viewers have been asking, hey, you know what? I watch a lot of Seinfeld, and they're always talking about cereal. Well, now we can talk about cereal too. No we need a show on that. So, Denny, no I'm going to show you cereal boxes. No one, no one's really asked us about. Oh yes, they have. Cereal. I think you know what I'm about to show you, Denny. I think I do. But you know what? You would be wrong. Can I guess? Can I guess before you show me? You, you sure can, Denny. I still can't see it. I'm pretty confident you're about to show me a uh, cereal box you made in year five. Oh, what a guess! <laughs> Well, no, you'd be wrong, because I wanted to show you this. Breakfast bubbles from Aldi, and I just wanted to talk about who's on the front. On a separate note, today's show is brought to you by Breakfast Bubbles. But what I wanted Golden to talk bar. about is bugs right here, okay. because when was the last time you saw Bugs Bunny in anything? Space Jam. Bugs Bunny. Which brings me to... Tarzos! What? No! I, I can read your oh, mind, Eddie. Oh, you are very right. Bugs Bunny was last seen in 1999 or earlier, 98 maybe? I don't know. Whenever, like more than 10 years ago, in a, a motion length picture with Michael Jordan playing basketball. It was just water. You guys had the special stuff inside of you all along. It was on every magazine and every Actually, kind of commercial. you're lucky, because I know they did do another um, Looney Tunes animated real-life oh, feature. Oh, they did? With Steve Martin. Oh, that's right. And but we're gonna Jenna pretend, Hoffman. We're going to pretend it didn't and exist. And Brendan Fraser. It will never be Space Jam. Well, that's why it's called Back in Action. But, but why I find this funny, Bugs has been out of work for a long time. <laughs> he's not in movies, he's not in comics, he's not in shows... But he's on this, the front of Aldi cereal boxes. <laughs> he's like and, an and aged not, actor. And not cornflakes or rice bubbles. <laughs> Generic Golden Vale branded <laughs> yeah. food. We need your help! Look, there's no Porky Pig. There's no Daffy Duck. There's none of the other people. They've just had enough money to hire Bugs Bunny. Maybe he's pointing at the other cereal that's a bit better. <laughs> he's really pointing at the Kellogg's rice bubbles. Maybe he's just saying, hey! He's doing the fonts. Hey! hey. Have you ever heard of a cereal, very popular one, called Lightning Laxative Flakes? Now this little, this little number right here, Denny, I think I might have shown you before, or you might have seen me making it. I was with you as you were making it. Oh, he was with me, all right, in, in uh, year six, grade six of, of primary school. And I'm just going to let Denny introduce it for you. <laughs> so, so, so tell our audience, what 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 makes a lightning laxative flake? Well, what I really like is there's 100 percent laxative. Well, you got to have 100 percent laxative. It's 500 grams, which 500 is grams. probably about a 500. For the size. Pretty good. And you can win a free toilet. And the details are on the back. Well, let's go to the back, Denny. How can we win this free toilet? <laughs> well, firstly, it's a toilet that's covered in blood stains, <laughs> and I could win this. And there's a little you open toilet tab. Yep, yep. Where You've won a free plumbing done by Gus. And there's a picture of Gus. He looks a little dodgy. I don't think I'd get him to plumb my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could get bugs. <laughs> he probably needs a job too. For more info. Oh, excuse me. I gotta go. Mm. So I think what we really should have called this segment is why you shouldn't let children design cereal boxes. Ah, uh, I like... I, we forgot to acknowledge the brand name. Oh, yes. It was Smellows. <laughs> Ahead of my time. Now, this was in, um, this was in year six... So I, it, it wasn't like I was in, in grade two and didn't know how to spell or, or write or anything. This was in grade six when I knew better. This is the best part. Can I, can I yeah, yeah. say that little warning you've got here you on sure the side? sure can. Should this product fall below standard, and it probably will, <laughs> it's not our problem. But I will let you know that there is a Smellows Constipation Puffs, which mm. is a surefire for diarrhea. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Do you remember this, this school activity? Do, I, I remember you spent quite a lot of time on yours as well. What did you make? I can't remember. 
you made something good, and I remember you got better marks than I did, and the teacher wasn't very fond of my lightning laxative pass. I made a superhero cereal. Oh, you did, yeah. And it turned you into a superhero. And you, you actually drew really cool, like, cartoon characters on it. You didn't just draw a toilet with blood on it. <laughs> no, that's... Mmm... <laughs> A little uh, I'm concerned for you. It's also now in uh, four great flavors. Oh, so there you go. Lightning laxative puffs. Um, don't let your kids design cereal boxes because they're gonna they're gonna draw shit all over it. <laughs> or don't let Mitchell design cereal. Thank you, everyone, and that concludes show and tell or something. And um, yeah. You know, I think there's so much to say in our Lost in Space review. It will probably go on forever. <laughs> Coming up next week. On our Lost in Space review, part 84. <laughs> See you next time.